what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy all the things to improve on them this Saturday against Grambling. What do you think? Because there will be some levels of improvement that I'm not going to be that impressed by, right? Mm -hmm. um, like individual domination. Like if you're just, uh, okay, if you're Will Campbell and you're just beating up on that DN. Like, mm -hmm. okay, like yeah, that's not going to teach me much. So what, what do you think you can carry forward that you could see this weekend? Like something I need to see improved? Yes. So that I can yes. actually, yes. yeah, turn that on the like, tape and feel better about? Yes. Okay. Uh, zone coverage. Huh. Great one. Where, excellent, excellent Like, answer. if it's called, whatever it is called, I don't, you know, whatever. Cover four, cover six, uh, cover one, whatever it is. Like, if it's called, you end up where you're supposed to be because zone coverage has landmarks. So, I want to see you hit your landmark and not float. That was my common theme watching tape. I wrote float 17 times because guys were floating in the area. It's not floating. It's you have a spot, get to your spot, cover that spot, and then you go make a play on the football once it's in the air. So yeah. like you can improve on that and you can show improvement no matter who the opponent is. You can, hell, you can do that on air, but I need to see it. Yeah, Jeff G says, can anyone really tell improvement against a lower tier team unless they lose, of course? No, I mean, look, I, I, I agree with Jake. Scheme things you can carry forward, right? Are you executing your zone from a play calling perspective? Are you being more creative in the run game? Um, you know, maybe a little more counter, a little more power, a little more jet sweep, right? We get some of that pre-snap motion that we wanted to see. Uh, can you return a a kick? Like, can you have a single positive return? Like, can you have one return on either kickoff or punt that you're like, that was a plus play? Um, that's not a fair catch. But even even then, a clean yeah. fair catch, I'll take. <laughs> Actually, let's start start with a clean fair catch, yeah. and then positive yardage on a return, and I'll feel much better about that. The, like the blocking on kick return. Hey, block your guy. Something. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I mean, um, give him something. Give him some space. Hey, returners, I know it's hard to trust when your guys aren't blocking, so you're tiptoeing. Hit that thing running. One time. Uh, yeah, why did it look Full so speed. slow? I thought it so was supposed to be fast. Um, Champ says, you all want Matt Canada back. I mean, isn't that kind of a funny comment, though? Matt Canada is still an NFL offensive coordinator. So, um, yeah, you know, it's like, what do you mean? Like, you're acting like Matt Canada sucks. He's been Mike Tomlin's OC for how yeah. many years now? Yeah. Like, you don't think Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers know football games? Like, what are you talking about? Are you an idiot? <laughs> um, uh, yep, so we can look at punt. Uh, certainly, how you're going to use Harold Perkins would be one thing. Does he look more comfortable just playing that inside linebacker position? Do What is the happy medium that Brian Kelly references in his press conference on uh, – on Sunday feel like. Yeah, you have a player that's just, he's not good in coverage. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Right? We saw two examples, one in zone, one in man. It's not what he's comfortable with. Okay, well, it's not even like, yeah, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this. I understand, like, wanting to rush him more, but you also, you have to coach him up on getting better at those things as well because he's going to have to do some of those things. Like, eventually, like, even if he plays edge, he's going to drop into coverage sometimes. Yeah, he's got to know what his landing mark is. He's got to get there. Yeah, I just and that, that'd be another thing, and I'm sure you're going to see it this week because I don't think that Grambling's going to stress you nearly or confuse you nearly in the same way that Norvell Florida State attack did. But I want to see both linebackers just look more decisive. There was a passivity to their their play last time, catching guys like Jake said, floating like an astronaut that's untethered from the space station, just kind of floating around out there. Um, never really like, like on the first drive for Florida state, there was like a badass run fill from Harold Perkins yep. where he came over and actually met the back at the yeah, line. It and nice. it was on third down. It was on third yeah. down. One of the few third down stops you had the entire game. I need to see more of that. Did we ever find, all right, let me find the run grade. I'm just curious who graded out. Okay. Yeah. Omar space was, was way better against the run than, than Perk. Well, I mean, per 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 perk, perk was thirty nine percent against the run. It's 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 actually, I mean, Spades was seventy four percent for all the for all the the, the 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 black hole of conversation that is the quarterback debate. Um, 
I don't know that I've ever seen such a waste of a talented player as what you saw out of Harold Perkins this game, which is partially on him. I'm not saying that's all on the coaches, but it's on both sides to figure out how to get the most out of a guy that we know is yeah. incredible, that we know was just named the fourth best player in college football. And to, and to not even be like good, not okay, not bad, but you take the best player, make him the lowest graded player. I would also say that's a massive feather in Florida State's cap, coaching wise, because what's the main goal of any coach? Who's their best player? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to weaken that guy. Yep. We're going to attack him and we're going to take him out. Well, they did that and then some yep. on Sunday night. Yeah, time and time again. It was a, it's kind of been the buzzword we've used here masterclass. Uh, yeah. That's what it was. Yep. By, by quarterback and coach. Wow, Jake. What incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post every single day here on OTB LSU.